Uh, good practice today. Um, really, really good give and take practice. You know, it's a great sign of a team that's getting closer to, to uh, you know, getting ready to play. You know, so defensively and offensively, it was good give and take. Uh, we did decide to uh, announce to the team that Sam Neuer would be our quarterback, you know, starting against, against UCLA. Uh, very, very, very close competition, as you guys can imagine. Um, you know, it took, uh, it took a lot of, uh, you know, thought going into this uh, between uh, Danny Langsdorf, myself, and Darren uh, Shiverini. So, uh, you know, Sam got the nod, but we, you know, we're really, really impressed with what Tyler has done this camp. And uh, we're going to continue to bring Tyler along. You know, that's that's what we're going to do. He's going to you know, get a chance to play some. You know, we feel that the competition is that close that, you know, those guys uh, are going to continue to grow as we move forward during the course of the season. And uh, we want to bring them both along. But uh, but uh, anyway, we announced that to the team and now so we actually announced that to you guys, too, as well. OK, so I'll open up for questions. Okay, first question's coming in from Brian Hell. Hey, Coach. Uh, I, I'm curious, uh, with the uniqueness of this uh, situation and a shortened season, do you have any I ideas or thoughts of sort of treating this as a NFL preseason and kind of letting both those guys get some quality reps in games and, and figure this out over the course of a few weeks? Well, that's that was the challenge, Brian. Was we had three or you know three weeks to make a decision without any spring practice, and you know you would you would definitely want to feel like you you're missing a period of time to do the a complete evaluation. But um, you know the season's upon us. We play uh, about a week's time, and you know Sam, you know we we felt that he just operationally is just a little bit better uh, at this point in time, but just barely, just barely better than what Tyler is, and. You know, so yes, and answer your question, we want to get Tyler some time. Uh, we haven't determined how much that is yet, um, just because if the competition is that close. And yes, we would want to continue those guys developing and getting some game experience. Let's go to Pat Rooney. Hey, Pat, you're um, I got it. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, obviously, one week. Uh, one week to go now. Going this, not, not a lot of maybe outside expectations for your team, but what has to happen? You have your quarterback name now. What has to happen for maybe you guys to come out and surprise people this fall? It's going to take us to come out and play as a team with great execution, offensively, defensively, special teams. Uh, that's what really how we're going to, you know, that's what we need to hang our hat on right now is really coming out and playing well. Um, I think our team will do that. They'll come out and play well uh, and be very competitive. Uh, I like where their head is uh, from a men mentality standpoint. Um, they, they understand, you know, the, the shortness of things and, you know, in, in terms of the preparation. But again, we don't harp on that. We go forward and, you know, we figure we got just as good a chance to win because of who we're playing. And, you know, they had short times too. So, um, so that's not an excuse in, in any means. So we just want to go out there and compete, measure up, and see what it looks like. Justin Herrera. Hey, Carl. Um, is it a relief at all on your end to kind of just get this monkey off your back to, to announce this starting quarterback and maybe start to proceed a bit more just in the formal implementation of this offense? And um, a, a second part to that, at one point in time, did you and, and your coaches kind of have an inclination that, that Sam was the guy? Uh, in terms of just separation between he and Tyler? Well, we, we just came up with the with the inclination yesterday. You know, we didn't want to drag it into or hiding it until game time or, you know, sometimes there's all sorts of scenarios that pe people do. Uh, we, we felt the competition, like I said earlier, was really, really close. And uh, But you have to make a decision to give somebody to, you know, it's like, the, you know, you got to give the first guy that you think that has gives you uh, the best chance. And... Uh, but I, I say that, you know, cautiously because I think Tyler has proven that he can move the offense, too, and do it very well as well. So uh, so it's just a starting point of the season. This is what we decided to do. Both guys are on board. They understand, uh, you know, the expectations of both. I told them both, including Tyler, you know, you got to still prepare as if you're starting because as if you're the starter, because, you know, he's probably going to get some time as well. So uh, it's a it's just one of those situations that it's not ideal. I get that. But we don't talk about it that way. We just, you know, make a decision, 
and let's move forward and let's go let's go win some games. Question from first time CU Zoomer, Arnie Stapleton, Associated Press. Hey Carl, I got, uh, I'm wondering, um, you know, Vic Fangio with the Broncos has been kind of a voice of reason in the NFL dealing with this novel coronavirus and um, in the way he's uh, had his players react to you know, all this uncertainty. I'm wondering if you have talked to your team about kind of rolling with the punches this year, uh, just because it is kind of a unique uh, situation. <laughs> Arnie, you're, you're, I've been rolling with the punches with these guys, you know, for the last seven months. So yes, yes, yes. And answer your question. You know, we have to take this season that it could be very roller coaster as well. You know, it got us to this point, you know, going with the ebbs and flows of the, of the pandemic and finally getting a chance to play and preparing for that. And you see the issues on both the college and professional level that, you know, at some point in time, somebody's probably going to come down and get the virus that's playing and you're going to have to make the accommodations and the adjustments that you need to do to continue to play. So, yeah, we talk about that often. You know, we have a next man up theory or, you know, philosophy about being ready. You know, we're trying to get, I, I mentioned last week about we feel our first team's good and our second team's really not that far behind. You know, those guys on the second team need to know that, you know what, you know, so-and-so's out, next guy comes in and, you know, we, we expect him to perform just as well as a guy that was starting. So, there's no question, though, Arnie, and answer your question. It's, uh, you know, that's something we, we talk about daily, you know, and making sure we're trying to build some depth. And if those things happen, we have people to kind of plug and play. Let's go to Pat Rooney again. Thanks. Coach, um, you said you want to give Tyler time. Will there be a set plan for that, or uh, will you be adaptable? I mean, if Sam comes out on fire, obviously, will you ride the hot hand? It'll be adaptable. There's no set time frame for, for what that is. Um, but I want, I want Tyler to get some time in the game. We'll figure, we'll figure out when that is, but you know, he's deserving. Like I said, it was a really, really close competition. He's deserving. And, and, you know, and I think uh, a gentleman said earlier, you know, they're both really young in their development of, in terms of the experience. So they both need time to kind of use this season to kind of season up you know, and, you know, hone in their skills and understand what, what live action looks like, which you try to simulate so well in practice, but you know, it's always hard to do that. You only really learn from it when you're playing it in those fast moments of the game. Pat Graham, AP. Hey coach, how you doing? Hey, thanks for taking the time. Just curious on Brennan Lewis. How close was he? And could you envision maybe some wildcat packages with him? Brennan's a fine young player. We're really, really excited about, you know, his future. Um, you know, we're going to continue to bring him along, um, not, not in a fashion that what we're going to do with both Tyler and Sam, but, but we're really pleased with what he's shown us uh, at this, you know, first, you know, first year of college. Uh, he's got a great arm. He's an athlete. He's strong. He's, you know, he's got a, a number of attributes that are really going to be, uh, you know, critical factors for his success. Um, but we'll continue to bring him along. But not, there, no, there's nothing really designed from a Wildcat standpoint for Tim, though. Any other questions for Coach Durella? One more from Brian Hell. Hey, Coach. Uh, I want to ask you a non-quarterback question, actually. Uh, I'm just curious how uh, you feel like the rest of the team is uh, prepared going into a game week this next week. I mean, do you feel good about uh, the receivers and uh, secondary, all those other competition areas? I do. I feel really, really good. That's really what I mentioned with the team at the end of practice today. There's a lot of really good give and take right now. And that's usually a pretty good sign of a good team is when there's good give and take on both sides. Uh, I think defensively, we're, we've, we've, been, we've been making some plays on the football and, and doing some really, really positive things, you know, there. I think offensively, we've made some plays, scoring touchdowns and things like that, too. But, you know, it, I think, um, you know, it's been, a, it's been a battle on both sides. And that's as a head coach, I, I'm, really, uh, I'm really relieved that there is give and take, you know, that shows that there's, there's signs of really, really good, good execution on both sides and, and uh, we'll continue to get better. So we got a week to kind of hone in our game plan and freshen the guys up to, to play and be ready to go at five o'clock on, on Saturday. 